Hello guys, welcome back to another delivery vlog. If you're new around here, my name is SG Eats and I do food delivery vlogs on the various food delivery platforms here in Singapore. And mainly this will be on Food Panda, Grab and Deliveroo. Today is a Tuesday evening. I guess you can consider this a Deliveroo Dash episode, but really we are multi-apping on Grab and Deliveroo. And actually, we actually got our first two orders on Grab, which is picking up from Common Grill by Collins from Aukang Mall. And then we're also picking up from another restaurant called Fung Hub along Aukang Avenue 6. We'll be delivering these two orders into Aukang Avenue 8 and Serangoon North Avenue 4. Now, usually I don't like to deliver into Serangoon North. I'm just thinking maybe I'm gonna use the help centre to cancel that. Let's just pull up to Aukang Mall and then we'll see if uh, we can get it cancelled or not through the help centre. Okay, yep, we've got it cancelled. So we only have the one order to work on which is Collins and that's delivering into Aukang Avenue 8. So we're just here at Aukang Mall, so we're gonna pull up and get it collected. Let's go! Alright guys, we've picked up the singular order from Collins uh, which we have to deliver into Aukang Avenue 8 and uh, let's go over and get this packed. You may or may not have noticed the difference in quality for our video and if you did, it's because we are now using the Insta360 X3 which is a new camera that I got to film our videos so I'll be figuring out how to edit the footage and uh, you know give better quality content to you guys. There are quite a few changes in my setup for food deliveries which you guys will get to see. I've gotten a whole bunch of new equipment for my bike, the equipment that I bring along to complete food deliveries and I plan to show you guys all of that. So there will be some changes I'm going to go through right now with you. I am trying to come up with a plan that um, helps me to achieve my goal of saving at least $1,000 from food deliveries every month. And today is the start of that plan and I'm going to try it out for one month and see if it is doable, if it's feasible and if it helps me to achieve my goals. So if it fulfills and helps me to achieve my goal, I'm going to be sharing this plan with you guys. I think it will be catered more towards part-timers because full-timers will be doing this, this job every single day, right? But I'm sure part-timers can um, reference the plan and see if it helps them. And if it does, that'll be awesome. But yeah, I've got a plan in place to help me set aside $1,000 every month. And we're going to try that plan out. And part of that plan is this Deliveroo Dash series coming out on a weekday evening and trying to earn at least $50 doing deliveries. We also invested quite a bit of money in the upgrades to our bike. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys can see that I've added on additional headlights. We are using a brand new camera which costs a pretty penny. It wasn't cheap and to accessorize it, I think the cost came up to nearly $1,001 to $1,002. So yeah, I have a lot of ideas in my head and uh, hopefully I can share these ideas with you guys in the content that I put out. So if you enjoy watching my channel, help me out by hitting that like button, share this video with your friends, fellow riders, and of course, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We have about, uh, let's see, 1 km to go to our customer and I'll talk to you guys when we're reaching. So see you in a bit. All right, we have arrived. Let's just uh, get this order out. Hello, grab food. Okay, thank you. Okay, first order done. 
I'm going to hop back on to Deliveroo as well, see what orders we get. And uh, I do want to talk a bit more about the... Wow. I press down and it goes down. Are you kidding me? Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit more uh, when we get our following orders um, about the equipment that, I'm, that I have upgraded and also what I plan to do for the channel in terms of content. So yeah, I'm going to catch you guys when we get our new order and uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Alright guys, just to give you an idea of where we are. We have gotten an additional two orders on Grab. One is a Grab Food and the other is a Grab Mart. Uh, however, when we picked up the Grab Mart order, the staff there let me know that they were out of stock items, if I'm not wrong, and they had to replace it. They did try to contact the customer to inform of this change, but it would appear that the customer wasn't contactable. Hello! Grab Mart, yeah? Okay, the shop was out of stock for one of the item, so they replaced it. So they tell me to tell you. Thank you. Okay, so we dropped that off and then we're gonna go over to our next order, which is actually 3.8 km away. I decided to take this because, well, I don't mind going into Sengkang. I think there are more orders over there than uh, compared to Aokang. But it's also giving me an opportunity to talk to you guys a little bit more, give you a bit more updates as we travel along. So I'm going to catch you guys when we're back on the road. Alright, so I'm going to try and make this quick. But uh, basically, I have done some major upgrades to the equipment that we're wearing. So first of all, we are not going to be wearing the Grab or Deliveroo or even Food Panda shirts anymore. I actually got myself these uh, long sleeved sort of like sports material shirts that I'll be wearing. I got them in grey, green and brown. Unfortunately, they didn't have any brighter colours. I know that if we're riding at night, we want to be visible. But that's also why I have upgraded my lights on the e-bike. So at the back, I have like a wireless turning signal system. Um, it's rather small. I'm not sure if I would want to recommend it for you guys to get it but if you want to try it out no harm i think i can put the link uh, on where to buy this off shopee i can put it in the description and then at the front we are using two new lights as well on top of the light that um, came with this e-bike the two lights at the front i'm running them on mode one i think there are four different modes and uh, of course as you go up the modes it gets brighter and brighter but for my purposes i'm only running it at mode one uh, I forgot to charge the battery for the main light that came with the e-bike so we're not using that right now but we've got both our two front lights uh, running right now. So additional to that, I also got ourselves a brand new chest mounted bag. So it's very similar to the one that Grab provides. However, I will say it's slightly bigger in terms of how much items and space available for you to uh, carry loose items right so i found this to be a little bit better for me because now i can put like you know loose change my extra batteries my camera equipment etc so that is an update for the chest bag that we're using which you probably can see on the screen so those are the updates that we have for the equipment that we use uh, for food deliveries and as usual i will be putting the links to these items um, in the description below so that if you guys want to try them out you can purchase them as well for now i'm going to see you guys when we are going to drop off this second of the double which is in Sengkang. so i'll see you guys in a bit okay guys we have reached our second customer let's go get this dropped off one thing to note is that this insta360 x3 is a little bit heavier than the normal action camera that I use. So if the footage bounces a lot, I do apologize for that. Uh, hopefully, you know, I can figure out a way to get optimized, optimal footage that is good for you guys and you guys can enjoy. But uh, for now, let's go get this dropped off. Hello, grab food. Oh, 
Okay. That is done. Oh, goodness. I didn't even notice this. Pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> okay. So we're going to wait for new orders and I'm going to jump back on the delivery as well. So far, we have completed three orders, but they have all been on grab. So let's see which platform is going to give us a new order. Currently, Deliveroo is saying not busy, so I don't have my hopes up. But uh, I'm going to bring you guys back when we get our next order. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, Deliveroo 9457 Ah, thank you. Okay guys, good news, we've gotten a delivery order. So basically we hopped over to Compass 1. We had to wait about 10 minutes. Yeah, so basically we had to wait about 10 minutes to get this order. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get uh, any more orders on Grab for the time being. But we'll be working on this one, Deliveroo, paying us about 4 bucks or so. I think you guys will have seen on the acceptance card. So yeah, if I'm going to be comparing the platforms, I really do like the flexibility of being able to go offline or online anytime for Grab and Deliveroo, which makes it the, I would say, one of the better platforms to be able to multi-app. With my experience on Foodpanda, generally you get paid more per order, but you don't have the flexibility of going offline at any time you want. You commit to a shift and most of the time, 100% you are working that shift. Even if you go on a pause, you are only allowed, I think, five minutes per hour that you work. So, you know, in this type of situations where the orders may not be the best on a weekday evening, it really is very helpful to be able to be online on two different platforms and complete orders, whichever platform gives them first. Now, if one platform isn't doing well, you have a, the other platform to back you up. So for example, we started off with grab three orders from 7 to 8 and in fact a time check is 8.23 p.m. So we more or less completed three orders within an hour and we're now on our fourth order which is Deliveroo. So, so yeah, that really is a very big plus point of being on as many platforms as you can. Uh, for me, I've also signed up to another platform called QCut which I had read about previously but I've totally forgotten about it. I'm not online on that platform. From what I know, it's uh, pretty dead. There's not much orders on that platform. You know, maybe if the platform gains more popularity and more customers are on it, maybe we'll consider doing a shift on that platform. But for now, we're just gonna be on Grab and Deliveroo. So we are just about 600 meters away. Let's ride. Okay, we are here. And we also got a message from the customer to say to hang it on the gate and no need to knock. So that's what we're gonna do. I just replied the customer to say okay. Alright, all good. And the good thing is now the map is saying moderate. We're jumping back online with um, Grab. And uh, let's see which platform gives us our next order. Okay, we've gotten a new order on Deliveroo, which I want to show you guys. Hmm. We are picking up nearby, not saying nearby, actually going pretty far back towards, towards Compass 1 and then we need to go towards 
Fernville. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna accept this order and then I'll be online on Grab. If Grab gives me something better, I'll unassign myself from this order. Otherwise, I will just complete this delivery order. It's not the best in terms of distance. So yeah, we're just gonna have to make do with what we get. Let me bring you guys back when I'm picking up the order. Alright, so we picked up the first order and conveniently enough, we've gotten a double. So um, there's an additional order. We'll be picking up from Yoshinoya at Campus 1, which is us, opposite us. And then I believe the drop-off location is pretty near each other as well. So that's great. I think that would be orders. Nah, we just picked up order number 5 and then number 6 will be Yoshinoya. So, I'm going to see you guys when we reach Yoshinoya. Uh, Deliveroo. Huh? Deliveroo. Yao San Liu Ling. Okay. Okay. It's okay. I can wait. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Yoshinoya order is picked up and uh, I had a nice little chat with the auntie that was manning the cashier and uh, you know she was mentioning that sometimes when riders come to oh sometimes in particular delivery riders come to pick up an order um, she said you know I'll ask them what's their order number and then I'll go in and tell the kitchen to prepare that order first so that you know the rider gets it fast and she's, she kind of lamented that sometimes riders will just leave and not inform her. And, you know, I, I, I do sympathize with her because she made the effort to tell the kitchen to prepare their order first. But then they end up cancelling because they can't wait and they didn't inform her. You know, and in my opinion, it's really just about being nice to people as a rider. Um... If we can't wait for an order and then we have already told the staff our order number, I think it's, you know, no harm in just telling them that, hey, so sorry, I'm going to cancel the order, I cannot wait, and then you can leave. For the auntie, she prepared the order, then she goes out and she tries to look for the rider, but the rider is gone. So yeah, I do think that there are little things that riders and uh, F&B staff can do to help each other out. Like for the auntie, she tries to help the rider out by telling the kitchen to prepare that order first so that the rider doesn't have to wait so long and you know as a rider just be courteous be nice inform the staff that uh, you can't wait cancel the order and you can go I don't think it takes that long maybe one or two less than a minute you know so yeah we're all trying to get our jobs done here these little things can you know help each other out make our life easier and who knows maybe you'll make someone's day by being courteous and nice all right guys so we have 1.7 km to go to drop off the first of this double Let's ride.
can I check, is this 32 Fernvale link? Yes. Okay, park outside, yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay, so we're here to drop off the Korean food order. I want to check the add-on. Is it in this as well? Nope, it's a different address. Okay. Let's go get this delivered. Uh, 32. Okay, nah, thank you. Okay, can. Oof. <laughs> I think the guard was scared I was gonna duck under the gantry. Okay, first time I'm in this condo. Where am I headed? I'm just gonna walk along the swimming pool and hopefully we can find our way to the correct block. Okay, we made it. We're gonna have this delivered in no time. Hello, thank, thank you. you. Alright, that is done. And then for our next drop off, it's only two minutes, 650 meters away. Awesome. I'm gonna bring you guys back when we're reaching. See you in a bit. So far, this shift has been okay. I think it definitely helps that we're on two platforms because if we were on solely grab or solely deliveroo i think there would be some issues in terms of trying to get orders i'm just gonna pull up here park by the side make sure we're not in the way of anybody and let's go Okay, that is done. Deliveroo is saying not busy. I'm gonna go back online with Grab. We are pretty, I don't know. We're like in a weird spot, but yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna see which platform gives me another order and we'll take it from there. So for Grab, we've done three orders. And for Deliveroo, I think we have done four. Let me just do a quick check. Nope, Deliveroo, we have done three only. So yeah, we've completed six orders in total. Hopefully, we can get more orders coming in. The time now is 9.15. Let's see how it goes, guys. Catch you in a bit. Alright, guys, good news. We have gotten uh, two new orders on Grab. Oh, one singular order. It is a Grab Mart order. We are picking up from near Sinkang Grand Mall and then we think we're delivering it into Bangkok. I got GrabMart 970. Okay, and while we're waiting for the staff to prep the order, it has started drizzling very ever so slightly, so I hope it doesn't turn into a shower. Um, but yeah, we're happy to get this order. It's paying $5.30. Hopefully we can uh, get a few more. We are picking up Marigold Dawn Sweetened Beverage Creamer 1kg Oh my god, and Dasani Drinking Water 12 times 1.5 litre Are you kidding me? Okay, the good thing is we are not on our pannier bag uh, We have a rack and all So I think we should be good But damn, this is a pretty big order Okay Do you have the receipt? No receipt Okay. Here. 
थैंक यू ओके थैंक यू Oh my god. Let me tell you this. I have picked up heavy orders before. I have never picked up something this heavy. Maybe I can just open this up and fit it through. Yeah, I think that will work. Okay. Oh my god. This is pretty goddamn insane. Oh, okay, we got that in. Supposed to be a rather short, right? I am pretty apprehensive about this. Mainly because the Oh. The water is pretty heavy and I can feel it swaying my e-bike around a lot. Okay, you know what? I'm wrong. This rain is a little too heavy for comfort. Let me put on my rain jacket. And uh, pro tip guys, always, always, always have a rain jacket with you. Just in case it starts raining like this. Let's go. We're gonna have to be really careful with this. I can feel the bike swaying around a lot. And I guess this is a negative point about having a foldable e-bike. Or at least this is a negative point about the Mido Pro. It is extremely flexible in terms of the frame. And uh, yeah, with, I don't know, 12 times 1.5, that's what. Uh, 18 kg worth of water. I am very apprehensive, so I'm going to be super careful. I'll bring you guys along this journey. As you can tell, um, it's starting to drizzle already. Uh, damn. I have the feeling that I felt when I was taking the big grab mud order from uh, NTUC in my one of my earlier videos. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go up this hill because it's a shorter route and there are fewer cars on it. If I were to follow the route that uh, Grab Navigator is telling me to go, I'm pretty sure it will be a bit more difficult having to navigate through all the traffic. So yeah, it's gonna be an uphill. I may or may not kill my e-bike battery doing this, but yeah, let's hope for the best. Ooh. I'm going to do my best not to sway the e-bike as much as I can. Keep it nice and straight. And let's hope. The Mido Pro will survive this. Alright, it's clear traffic behind me. Oh, freak. You know what? If I said that the NTUC Grab Mart order was the scariest, I take my words back. This is the scariest. 15 kg worth of water. And when you feel the e bike swaying back and forth under the weight, that is truly scary. I'm just trying to be as stable as I can. Uh, oh my god. Maybe on this note we can talk about Grab Mart orders. Do you think that food delivery platforms should implement sort of like a filtering system to see the items that are being purchased on a Grab Mart order? or a food panda panda mud order and have like maybe an algorithm that will determine how heavy the item is and can it actually be transported by an e-bike if there was a way for grab to determine that this order was too heavy for an e-bike i don't know that would be a great help 
In fact, I think 15 kg is probably the limit that most e-bike food delivery racks can go. All right, our uh, delivery address is on the opposite side of this road, so we're gonna have to make a U-turn up ahead. I'm really thankful that the distance is not that long. It's actually pretty short. I just hope nothing happens. We're already so close. I really do hope we can complete this without any incidents. Okay, we're just pulling up to our customers location and I can tell you for a fact that my battery is at I think it's 15% it's nearly dead Whew. guys that was scary let me take out this order first oh, holy moly I swear I nearly broke my bike delivering that order. Okay, still have one more. We are going to the fourth floor. We're gonna have to find a way to lug all of this up there. Alright, let's go. I'm not kidding when I say this is so heavy. Oh, if my e-bike didn't break, I'm telling you, my back nearly broke. Okay, that is done. The time now is 9.51. I'm going to jump back online with Deliveroo. And I'm also going to need to swap out my e-bike battery. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, good news. We didn't have to wait long. Grab has given us a double order. Picking up from Pizza Hut and delivering nearby as well. Let's see if the orders are ready or not. Hello, I have two orders, 420 and 079. Do I need to sign? Yeah, the other one. Thanks. <laughs> We got those orders packed and our first order is only going 340 meters down the road. How awesome is that? Alright, so um, my Mido Pro 36 volt 10.5 AH battery lasted us for about 3 hours at mode 3 and now I'm on my second battery and the time now is 10.03 p.m. Um, I'm not sure if I'll wrap up with these two orders or if we'll continue. I do want to do a quick check on our earnings and uh, if we haven't hit $50, I may just stay out to 11 p.m. Thankfully for us, this first customer is pretty near and we're already pulling up to the drop-off location. So let's park up and go get this dropped off. Okay, next one, 1.2 km. Basically, we're just going opposite to Alkang Street 91 and dropping off there. So I'll bring you guys back when we're reaching the customer. See you in a bit.
Alright, here we are. Alright guys, so I'm not too sure this is order number what they were delivering, but um, you know what? I think we just may be able to hit $50. I'm not sure, I really do hope so. Uh, I'll do a check for you guys once we drop this off. So as I mentioned, if we have hit $50, I'm okay to wrap this up. But if not, we're going to stay out to about 11pm to see if we can get any more orders. So let's hope for the best. Okay, let me do a quick check for you guys. We have 6 bookings in, $28.80. And on Deliveroo, we are at $13.34. So unfortunately, we are only at $42.14. So we're going to stay out a little bit longer and see if we can get just maybe one or two more orders to help us hit $50. Oh, fingers crossed, guys. Let's go. All right, guys. So shortly after dropping off that order, I think it's about 10 minutes or so, we've got a Grab Mart order that's bringing us into Serangoon North. At this timing, we really aren't going to get much orders anymore. So I'm going to do this order. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. The Grab Mart order, I checked. It's uh, all pretty small items, not very heavy. So <laughs> yeah, we'll be in better shape than we were picking up uh, 12 1.5 litre bottles. We'll park on the side here on the grass and then Let's go grab it. Uh, 389? Ah. Okay. Sorry. Surprisingly, these items are a bit heavier than I thought. We should be good. We're gonna jump on the road and I'll see you guys when I have reached the customer. So I'll see you guys in a bit. We have reached. I don't mind this GUB mounts, but uh, the older they get, they get a little bit harder to use. So I'm actually thinking of getting like, maybe a quad lock. Or a quad lock ripoff, you know, imitation of a quad lock. I think there are quite a few options out there in the market. I think that will make our life a little bit easier when we are mounting and dismounting our phone. Okay, we are here. Hello. Okay. Alright, it's back to the waiting game. So I'm gonna see you guys when I get my next order. See you in a bit. Uh, the time now is 10.56 and we got a delivery order. I was actually planning to go offline on both platforms at 11pm. And lo and behold, <laughs> we got a delivery order that is going back towards Aukang Avenue 5. It's a pretty terrible order. It's picking up from Bangkok and sending it back to Aukang. And when I say Bangkok, it's considered Bangkok area, but it's closer to Singgang. So that's why I feel it's a pretty terrible order. It's only paying about $4 plus. But I think that with this, we may just hit $50. I know this is the second time I'm saying it. And I really am keeping my fingers and toes and eyes crossed. I'm kidding, I'm still focusing on the road. But yeah, I really do hope that uh, we can hit 50 bucks. The time now, as I mentioned, 10.57, we're just gonna hit 11 p.m. So that would have been four hours or so. It is a terrible hourly rate. It's probably going to be around 10 bucks or a little over 10 bucks per hour. But you know what? Our goal is to earn 50 bucks when we come out and do these uh, delivery dash along with multi-apping on uh, Grab. So you know what? 
I'm focused, I'm sticking to my plan. I need to earn 50 bucks every time I come out here to do a delivery shift. And uh, you know what, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So we're headed over to the restaurant, which is a Japanese slash Korean cuisine restaurant at 275 Delta Compassville Link. So I'm going to see you guys when I reach. Hmm. It's a delivery order here, but it's not mine. Interesting. Uh, delivery Ling Su Su Yao. Uh, okay, it would appear that the merchant didn't get the order. So I'm going to bring you guys back when I pick up the order and I'll update you guys what went down. Alright guys, so here's what happened. She referenced my phone to see what the order was. She made the order and then just passed me the food items without a receipt, which I'm okay with. Um, at least we got the order and we're going to deliver it. And this does happen where vendors sometimes they don't get the order through their machine and they will reference your phone to find out what the items are and then uh, make it for you, pass it to you without a receipt. I'm totally okay with that. So we are headed actually back towards my house. We have delivered to this place before and let me jump on the road before I continue talking to you guys. Alright, so Ladies and gents, we are now at 11.09pm. This is going to be our last order. I don't plan to work any longer than this. I think that even if we don't hit $50, I'm going to share my thoughts on today's shift. When you're doing food deliveries on a weekday evening, you really cannot expect to get orders as frequently as a weekend shift. So as a part-time rider, I really have to manage my own expectations on how much I want to earn when doing food deliveries on a, you know, on a weekday or even a weekend. My highest earning weekend shift was over Saturday and Sunday and I earned about 430 plus dollars. This was about, I would say, 8 hours on Saturday and Sunday. So that's in a total of about 16 hours spent delivering on Food Panda and I completed 55 orders. So I think I got a $94 incentive for hitting 55 orders. That was honestly one of the best weekends I've ever had. And weekends like that make you optimistic, right? It's like you have a realization that, oh my goodness, you can actually earn that much doing food deliveries. And then maybe you get your hopes up. And the next shift, you think, okay, we've got to hit that again. But the harsh reality of this gig work, being a food delivery rider in particular, is that there will be days where you may not get orders at all. You may only complete one order in an hour and then have to wait two hours for your next order to come in. So I think that using food delivery as a side income, side hustle, you really do have to manage your own expectations and you cannot expect every single shift to give you three to four orders per hour. And we and I really do need to manage my own expectations to ensure that I don't disappoint myself, I don't put myself at um, unnecessary risk of burning out, getting demotivated. Even though today we may or may not hit $50, we probably are going to have a terrible hourly rate. I need to keep in mind that this is in line with my goal of setting aside $1,000 in savings using food deliveries. Those are my thoughts on the reality of being a food delivery rider at this current day and age. It's actually uh, January already, 2024, today is 16 Jan. And yeah, I guess we'll have to see how things go. And uh, I'll catch you guys when we are reaching this last customer's location. So I'll see you in a bit. It is so peaceful to be riding at this time of night. Similar to the really early morning shift that I did. And thankfully the rain has uh, subsided 
a lot it's like not even raining right now so let's go drop off this uh, last order of today and I can uh, summarize this shift for you I am very hopeful that we may just hit 50 bucks I really do hope so Hello. Thank you. It has just occurred to me that I've delivered to this lady before. In fact, it was in my first delivery dash episode. All right. So now that we have dropped off the last order of today, we're going to do a summary. On delivery, we earned seventeen dollars eighty-six cents, and on grab, we earned thirty-seven twenty. Thirty-seven twenty. Oh, so we hit fifty-five dollars and six cents. That's awesome! We did achieve our goal of $50. The time now is 11.20. So we started at 7, right? So that's about 4.5 hours. And if I do 4.5, we're being paid $12.23 per hour. So, hmm, $12.23 may seem to be pretty low. Um, but again, like I said, we are here to earn as much money as we can within the short amount of time that is available to us. So I do think that that's okay. As I mentioned, I am really just doing this to help myself achieve my financial goals of having an extra $1,000 to put aside in savings from doing food deliveries. And um, I also hope to be able to grow this YouTube channel and hopefully maybe get it monetized so that I can also earn from this content that I'm putting out and creating and I hope that I still can create content that is uh, enjoyable for you guys to view that you guys feel are beneficial to you and uh, you know I, I see it as a win-win I enjoy I in fact I love creating content I never knew that I would uh, actually get into content creation but if you don't try you never know and honestly I'm very happy that I got into content creation and uh, you know if you go back to watch my very first episode it was a terrible video uh, I was on my road bike my camera was facing the ground quite literally you could only see my handlebars and I only vlogged um, one delivery uh, it was at Singkang I believe so we really have come a long way and I'm very thankful that you guys have been here to support the channel so as always, if you liked what you watched today, help me to like this video. And in fact, go and comment your favorite episode that I have put out. And uh, let me know which episode is your favorite. And help me to share this video with your uh, friends, fellow riders as well. And lastly, the best form of support as I always say, if you want these videos to keep coming, is to smash that subscribe button. So with that, thank you guys. Thank you for following along. It's been an awesome shift. I thoroughly enjoyed myself today. See you in the next one guys. Peace.